Hey YouTubers, here's a cheap $20 Walmart camera, Target, online, wherever you want to get it at. That's the brand. I'm going to show you how to convert it to full spectrum in about 5 to 8 minutes, depending on, you know, a lot of things. And it's real simple to do. There's two routes you can go. The first one, I already got the battery cover taken off. You got four screws inside the battery compartment and you can take those out and take it apart and you got a ribbon cable in there you got to deal with that's a pain in the ass the first one i did i took it completely apart and then i found out afterward the only thing you really got to do is right here where the seam is take a flathead screwdriver follow the seam get the screwdriver started underneath there and you got two screws and they're on the other side you can't get the cap off the other way and unscrew the screws because they glued it on there but if you start in there get it underneath that seam part and then start working your way down slowly prying up and then pushing the flathead screwdriver in as you're going you pop the little chintzy bracket off that's inside there and you do the exact same thing on the other side you start where the seam is work your way around, go slow, or you'll break uh, that plastic there. And then once you pop that off, which I already did, set that off to the side. The only thing you need to do is a pair of pliers, Gerber, whatever you got, and it's, they take a hot soldering iron and solder the plastic there, but all you gotta do is just take a pair of pliers, twist that, it breaks loose real easy unscrew this piece here which I will show you and show you what you're going to remove okay that's what it looks like with the little lens off you can see the sensor in there careful not to touch that this little piece here if you can see that little see that little IR glass there that's all you're removing and it's not stuck in there it's pushed in there and it kind of looks like they made it a little bit bigger and it's just pressed in there you take one of your thin little flatheads here and just pry it out and once you pry it out that's it right there and just discard it wherever you want to put it at but this is what it looks like afterwards there's a little lens in there it's probably plastic I doubt it's glass but I usually take these things here just a little blower blow on the sensor in the camera and blow on that lens get any dirt particles or anything off and then after that now you're going to have to refocus it uh, I got three of these and all three of them weren't that well in focus to begin with I mean you're still not going to get like thousand dollar camera quality but I did find out once you refocus it, if you use it for daylight, well, it's completely different when you go to use your IR or uh, just UV only with the full spectrum. So you have to keep that in mind. So you either set, set it up for daylight, if you want to look for UFOs or Sasquatch or whatever. But at night, if you're going to use it for IR, for your infrared, or your night vision or if you're going to want to use it with just your UV then you're going to have to focus it for your light and like I said these old cheap cameras they need a lot of light to begin with but just keep it up and remember that now what I also do I don't glue this piece back on I tape it on because if you only buy one of these and you want to switch between the difference all you got to do is pull that tape off and then just readjust your focus to daytime, your infrared, or UV, or whatever other type of little light you want to have. But you want to try to get the brightest light you can. Uh, the two UV lights that I got, uh, they're a flashlight style. They're running three triple A's, or three double A's, excuse me. And they're pretty damn bright. But you still need to refocus it. And even if you do get it in focus with proper lighting, it there's no zoom, there's no auto refocusing or nothing. So 
you can get it focused with somewhat decent quality for what it is but it's only going to be room size you can still see distant with it but like i said don't expect a thousand dollar camera quality and that's it i'll show you once i got it all put back together what my three rigs look like all right thanks hope this helps someone out and save some money